Hey everybody, it's Josie here. I am going to be doing my TBR today for the first readathon that I'm going to be participating in for 2019. So this one I saw um, on Amanda from a Court of Books and Love, her channel, and it's being hosted by Amanda, Donna and Taylor. And this is called the New Year's Athon, Readathon. So I thought so these challenges were really interesting. It sounded like a lot of fun, so I thought I'd take part for the first part of the year. Um, I believe this is going to be running from the 1st of January through to the 7th of January. So you've got quite a nice kind of time to read it. And uh, the year's only starting off, so there should be some reading space available. So I will tell you what I'm going to be reading and what the challenges are. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting to all of these books once the readathon kicks off. So the first challenge here is to read a five star prediction. Now um, the first book, well the book that I'm going to do for this, is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. Um, this one is about a group of researchers that go out to the Mariana Trench and I think they're going to film sort of a mockumentary on kind of monsters, sea monsters, and what they actually find is some uh, mermaids but sort of the dark siren kind. So I'm really looking forward to this. I know Murphy Napier really likes this and she really likes siren um, stories, but she, like me, she likes kind of the dark um, side of it. So I have high hopes for this and I'm predicting this is going to be a five star read. So then the next challenge for this is um, to read a book that you meant to read in 2018. And for this, I've actually picked this one here. It's Ink gorgeous shiny cover. Um, so Ink I've had on my TBR shelves for ages. I meant to read it last year. Um, Again, it's, it's a bit of a dark book. Actually, most of these are dark themed. I think kind of the January weather lends itself to a bit of darkness. Um, so this one is basically um, post-apocalyptic. Uh, the idea is that your entire life story is being etched onto your skin, um, like a tattoo. So as you can tell, I quite like my tattoos. So I think this is a really interesting concept. And again, someone that reviewed this said it was actually a lot darker and a lot better than they thought it was going to be. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. Then the next one is to uh, read a book that's being adapted in 2019. Now I just kind of scoured my shelves and I, I'm not sure I necessarily have one, but the closest that I've come is um, the Beast is an Animal, and I know there's been talk about this being uh, adapted for quite a while now, but as of today, I don't think it actually has gone out into the world yet, so I'm counting this as a 2019 adaptation. Um, this is a essentially a horror book, YA. This is um, a girl who lives in a town, and there's soul eaters that come into the town. And there's kind of a mystery around that. Um, so again, it's a bit dark, well not a bit dark, it's quite dark, um, but it sounds really fun and I'm really looking forward to getting to this one. Then the next challenge is to pick um, one of the challenges that one of the hosts are doing. So I've actually picked Taylor's challenge and hers is to read a classic um, because one of my own personal goals for 2019 is to read a classic a month. So I thought this works. And we've got Agatha Christie's and then there were none. So this is a group of 10 people. They go to an island kind of house retreat and then dun dun dun, one of them dies. Um, so obviously it's classic Agatha Christie murder mystery. I've watched a lot of Agatha Christie. I've watched a lot of Poirot, all of those on TV, but I haven't really read much. So I'm kind of really, again, looking forward to this one. And it's, it's a nice short one. So I thought it was good for a readathon. And then the final challenge, which I thought was really fun, was to um, go to your shelves and pick a book that's in the 12th, 19th, 20th and 39th position on your shelf um, and then put all of those in a jar and then just pick one out randomly. So what I did is I first I picked those books in those positions. So I'll show you. It is A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, uh, The Haunting of Hill House, um, The Immortalists and The Accidental. So I put all those in my little jar and I've used my kind of my little Halloween jar and I'm going to rummage around and pick one out and then I'll tell you what my final my final pick is. Let's see. So, ah, it is The Accidental by Ali Smith. So it's this one. Again, this is one that I've kind of been dying to read for ages. It's been sitting on my shelf. So I'm actually really glad that this came out of the, the little pot. 
Um, and this is about, and this is about a family, I'm sure I remember. Yeah, it's about um, a family and then a stranger called Amber kind of comes into the family um, one day and she causes all sorts of havoc and about her interactions with these people. Um, Alice Smith is amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. So yeah, that's my final pick. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'd love to hear what everybody else is reading and I will let you know how I get on once the readathon ends. So happy new year, everybody. Well, almost. Um, and yeah, enjoy the readathon. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.